Hey guys, this is just another continuation of the Windows 8 series that I'm doing on my channel. Make sure you subscribe for all the latest Windows 8 pre-release news. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Wi-Fi network on Windows 8. It's slightly different than other versions of Windows. Uh, Windows has kept it very similar um, across all of their updated versions of Windows. However, this time they really revamped the UI uh, with Windows Metro, and uh, in doing so, they also revamped the look of the uh, network control panel. So, to get to the Wi-Fi selector, if we hover the mouse over to the bottom left corner, we get the new start menu, which is down here. So focus in on that. And it consists of start, search, share, devices, and settings. So to get to Wi-Fi settings, we're going to go ahead and click the settings button. We'll zoom out again so you can see. I'll tap settings. And we get this panel over here on the right. Now, uh, this can be accessed from any screen that you are on, uh, whether it is Metro or the desktop. So I'll also show you desktop. We'll flip over to desktop here, which I can also explain to you guys in another video. I'll be uploading a desktop video. Uh, so check out the playlist. All the Windows 8 videos will be there. But uh, we also have the start menu, uh, the new start menu on the desktop view. And if we click settings, uh, still on the desktop view, we get the settings panel on the right. So uh, down on the settings uh, panel, we have a note, or actually a, a Wi-Fi kind of a status icon here. So uh, whether you are uh, connected through Ethernet or through Wi-Fi, you will see a corresponding symbol for that. And then it'll either say not connected or it'll say uh, the network name that it has identified. So if you just click on that, it will bring up the network panel. And from here, it's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, I'm connected to a net network called Netgear O2. And it also lists the other networks that it has found. So uh, right now I'm going to disconnect from this network. And I'm going to remove all my settings so that I can show you how this really works in terms of connecting for the first time or to a network that you never connected to. So I'm in the settings panel. And I click the network that I want to connect to. Right here, I have the option to connect automatically or not. So I will leave that on, and we'll say connect. Then it says getting information from Netgear O2. And then now I can uh, do one of two things. So I can type a pin that is on the router label, or I can connect using a security key. Uh, so since I'm not next to the router right now, I don't know what the pin is, I'm going to use a security key. So I'm going to click use a security key. And also if your router uses push to connect, uh, Windows will also give you the option to use push to connect. So at that point, all you have to do is push the push to connect button on your router and Windows will automatically connect. Right now, I'm just going to type in my security key and I'm going to click OK. And next it's going to ask me if I want to enable sharing. Um, this is Windows' way of asking you if your network is public or home. If you remember in previous versions, especially Windows Vista and 7, it always asked you uh, when you connect to a new network, is this a public network or a home network? Um, and what it did with that information was it decided the amount of information that it would share over the network. Uh, so instead of just asking that directly, it asks you, do you want to enable sharing or disable sharing? So I'm going to enable sharing since I'm on my home network here. Um, and basically what this means is that it can find other devices that are connected to the network and can share information with them. And it will allow those devices to share information with this computer and get information from this computer. Um, basically one major part of this is home group. Uh, which was introduced in Windows 7. So if you don't enable sharing, home group is not going to be able to work. Uh, and I use home group a lot, so I'm going to enable sharing. And it is now connected. As you can see, I have a connected icon. Uh, I have five bars here. So we are uh, fully connected to the internet. I could jump over to the Internet Explorer application. Uh, I can browse the web here. So uh, that is how to set up Wi-Fi in Windows 8. Uh, using the new uh, revamped uh, network settings menu. Uh, remember to subscribe for more technological videos, uh, especially on Windows 8. I'll be doing a lot on there. 
Uh, also check out my website, mikeabout96.com. Links to Google Plus and Twitter are in there, uh, which is where I post basically everything that I do online. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Get the knowledge out there. Don't hoard it all to yourself. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.